What's up, guy? I got this gun. This is Josh with Deprived Productions. We're in a fourth blueprinting tutorial video for the Unreal Engine 4. I like shooting this gun when I'm about to stop talking. Makes everything sound a little more dramatic. We're gonna make a runaway cube. It's gonna run away from us. So we're gonna need to make a blueprint and a material and a couple other things. So let's get started. Uh, F11 to get out of the full screen and escape, so I'll stop shooting at you. I'm already in the DP folder, guys. Deprive Productions, right click, and go ahead and real quick make a material. I'm just gonna name it cube, because it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be the color of our cube, and that's not really what's important, but let's do it right, hold the number three. Plug it into emissive, because I want this to kind of emit this collar to emit light. We ain't really done this before, I know, but it'll be neat. But the thing is, it's gonna be really bright, and I don't want it to be too bright, so I'm gonna hold the letter M, and I'm gonna plug this in here, and then plug that. Hold Alt and click there to get rid of that and plug this in there. Well, maybe if I can reach it. I'm all trying to reach it. Go in here and multiply it by 0.03. That, 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 that way it doesn't emit too much light. Yeah, it probably looks a little weird. You're like, bro, it's a little dark. Relax. Just check it out. Calm down. Uh, we need to create our, uh, create our uh, blueprint class now. Actor. And I'm going to name it Runaway Cube because that's what it's going to be. Runaway underscore cube uh, BP. And I spelled all kind of stuff wrong probably, but I don't care. So let's uh, create a component, right? Add a component and make sure it's a static mesh. And we'll just go ahead and get our cube. Uh, I'm going to name it cube. Now the thing is, it's already got, where, since it's selected, I can move my thing over here because you know how I do. I know. I've said it a lot. It doesn't matter. But what I can do is since I have the starter content on the project, which I hope you do as well, we can go over here to the content, go to starter content, go down to shapes. You got the cube. Boom. Drag it over here. Drag it on there. There it is. Now the thing is, we need that material. What's that? Compile, obviously. And guess what? We already got our material. If I go all the way back and back arrow if I want. Boom. Click it like that. Click it like that. There's my DP. I can double click. Grab the material. Bring it over. There she go. Oh, wrong sound effect. Anyway, so what we do now is we compile one more time. Now, I want to add a light. You know, I want this thing to shine because it's, it's awful dark out here. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of dark. Got to see my lights. It's got some lights, but if I turn, press the G button, you know what I'm saying? Get in and out of there. It's kind of dark. Let's go back over here. Add a light component. I want a point light. Scroll down here and scroll down here. Do you see point light I'm talking about? I need to bring it up into the middle a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Bring it up in about the middle of the cube. Oh, yeah. A little too high. What? Um, so anyway, we'll go over here and we'll set the settings of this thing. So it needs to be about 2,500 on intensity. And I'm going to make it that kind of cool blue color. Yeah, a little bit like a blue, bluey. A blue on that blue with it blue. Compile. I'm talking about. We can drag it out in the world now. Gotta see where it is. I'm, I'm about right there, right? Yeah, we'll drag it out and drop her right here. See what she's doing. Wow, it's all bright. F11 and Alt-P. Turn around. Where you at, bruh? All kind of blue. A little cube. I'm going to make this thing just glide away from us. You know what I'm talking about? Escape F11, jump back in, get ready. All right, so check it out. We're going to go to the event graph. We are ready to go. And go ahead and just drag a box around all that and press delete. And let's get started. You're going to need the event tick, so we probably should have just kept that. I'll just keep it up there for now, okay? So we need two things. One, type in the word get actor location. Oh, first, don't accidentally do that. Uh, okay, delete that. Right click get actor location and I see it right here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it and I need to make a copy of it so control C and control V so I need two of them here's me and then I need the actual this is actually the blueprint we're in though self means we're inside that cube I need that one to be the cube and this one to be me so I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out here and type in get player character there we go okay so now I need a vector minus vector because I got two vectors here and I need to subtract them I'll pull the pull the wire out of this one and just press the minus key Look at that bad baby, son. Boom, got him. I can click on it, and then it works, and you plug him in like this. Now, I want you to drag a wire off this and type in the word normalize. Okay, you see it right here? All right, so, so far, we're not doing anything. You're like, I don't get it. Well, just, just, just check it out. So what I need to do is I need to multiply this vector now by delta seconds to create, like, a time. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So check it out. If I just drag it off here and I type vector, you can see a ton of these. You see vector times float? Boom, there it is. Control C and Control V because you're going to need another one. Plug this into delta seconds. Plug this into this. And set this number to 500. That's going to be the speed multiplied by the seconds. I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. Now we're gonna actually going to drag this off and just press the plus symbol. And if you do, you'll see that. Vector plus vector. You actually just drag from the vector, or vector press, plus plus press plus it'll do a vector plus vector it'll give you a few options but you'll see it there we are actually going to take this value here and add it to all of those and then literally just do a set actor location of the self of the cube right 
A lot going on there, right? You're like, why? Why did you, why did, why did you do all that? Now, the thing is, I don't want to do this just yet because there's one more thing we need to do. Okay, because we actually don't want this thing to move in every direction away from me. We want it to run, okay? And this is going to tell it to subtract our distances. But the thing is, we don't want it to run on the Z. That would be bad. So check this out. I'm going to go from here and type break vector. See that? That means I'm going to need to go from here, though, and type in or pull out and type make vector. See it? So there we go. We're going we're gonna to drag these two like this. And get rid of the Z so I can't go up and down. That way the cube stays on the floor. Because if it tries to run from me, it'll just go in every direction. Like, bro, I'm going up. Because you're scaring me, bro. So, I mean, we're going to jump back in here real quick. And But the thing is, Z has to be something. It needs to be this right here. This get actor location. It needs to be its Z. So, I'll just grab this. Click. Do the copy and paste thing. Pull this. And then pull this and plug it into the Z. You're like, what? Don't worry, bro. I got you. Now, I'm going to do one more thing. I only want this thing to run from us if we're super close to it. Check it out. Type in get distance to. See that? This is a bad, freaking sweet node. You know what I'm talking about? And we're going to need a branch. So type in the word branch. Oh, don't do that. I've done that twice now. I'm falling apart. Right click, branch. I did. No. Right click, branch. That's what I'm talking about. You just got to make a couple mistakes, guys. Don't be scared. This is eventually going to be into here. And if something is true, it's going to do all this. And that true is what we need to, we're setting up right here. We need to make sure that the distance, which we're about to create, is going to be the target, which I'm going to tell you right now is. And we can go down here and just copy and paste. Or you can just pull a wire off of it. But for now, I'll copy and paste. Control C. Control V. Here's us. Get the distance between this and type in the word self. There it is. Get reference to self. Boom. Okay. And we need to get the distance, but we need to make sure the distance is a certain amount. So I'm going to drag a wire. And I need to actually look for less than. And you might be able to find it on your computer. You see what I got right here? Check it out. Float less than float. If it's under 1,000, boom, we got it. You know what I'm saying? So if it's under 1,000, I want you to run. So if we're farther away than 1,000, meters or whatever number this is we will literally the, the cube will just said it won't do anything but as soon as that's happening that event tick is going to take off and start firing you want to see if it works control z control v or whatever get out of there f11 right we need to f11 full screen it alt p to play what you do what you doing bro you run from me oh look i can't catch it i can almost catch it i'm trying to catch it oh oh and i stop look it, it went a little ways and stopped oh look at it i can stop run away it's just chilling, but if I come after it, nope, it ain't going to let me do it. I can almost catch it, though, bro. Just keep on going. Um, the thing is, it'd be kind of cool if it rotated. So check it out. Escape, F11. Let's do one more real quick thing. We got all this mess here. You're like, bro, it's a little complicated. Why don't you drag a wire at right now from here and just type in set actor rotation. Mm -hmm. Let's make it rotate. How are we going to make it rotate? I'm about to tell you. Right here, I want you to go ahead and make rotator. Okay, we're going to need this. We're going to end up doing the X, Y, Z thing. Because I actually only want it to rotate on the Z axis. Right there, I want you to type in, um, I think it's look to find, oh, right, right click. Look to find rotation. I love this one right here. And actually from here, you can go ahead and break your break your rotator. Because these is, this is the rotator we're going to use. I'll explain why. Um, the start, we got to think about what we want it to turn to. The start is going to be this right here, our location. And the target is going to be us, the player. So here, I mean, literally, you can just control C and control V right here and literally plug this into your start and this into your target and then only on the Z axis and voila. Look at that mess. What is it? What is even going on there, compile? Don't be scared. Let's go after and see if we can chase this cube a little bit. Now, it is. it may not be rotating perfectly towards me. We might have to play with that on the Z, but it should look like it's turning. Oh, look at it. Look at a little cute cube. I'm going to get him, but if... But I can't because he's too fast. But if I just walk straight, oh, yeah, I'm going to catch him. You know what I'm talking about? But it's kind of cool. Look at him. We'll run away. But if I get away from him, see, he don't see me. He don't see me. I'm, I'm getting up on him. Nope. Nope. He's like, nope. I'm gone. Can't catch me, bro. Runaway cube. Don't be scared. A little kind of little kind of cool vector math stuff going on there. You can jump at him, shoot all kind of guns at him. Congratulations, guys. You got your a little bit of really generic AI. But, man, you might be able to do something cool with that. You know what I'm talking about? 
Oh, running after you, or running away from you, whatever not. Guys, hit that channel, man. Thank you guys for watching. Deprived Productions all day. Hit it up. We got all kind of funny, hilarious tutorials and whatever not. I don't even know anymore. Uh, no, but seriously, cool stuff coming, guys. Music. Um, still got the prototype on the way. More freaking tutorials in these few programs. And we're still stretching out on other things. Hope you guys will hit us up, man. Please subscribe. Hit the Facebook channel. Facebook page, whatever they're called these days. But yeah, man, hit me up if you have any, or if you have any questions. Um, I hope you learned a little something from this. A little blueprint in action. We're getting deeper into it. We'll continue to get a little more complicated. You know what I'm talking about? But guys, hit me up if you need anything. If not, peace.